RMJ movie reviews back again with another on the fly movie review. This is actually of uh, this is uh, strictly on the whim, but uh, Terminator 2 re release 3D. Man, oh man, um, I think I've said before Arnold Schwarzenegger is uh, he was my childhood hero. Um, <laughs> strangely, now when I find out uh, a lot of stuff about him that he did back in the day and continues to do. But um, I'm not going to talk about all that. But Schwarzenegger was my childhood hero. You know what I mean? Uh, Schwarzenegger was the reason that I wanted to make films. Uh, you know, I saw uh, Conan the Destroyer and Conan the Barbarian and Commando on cable and video when I was a very little kid. I was, I was like five, I believe. And then I had seen Terminator 1 on regular TV way before Terminator 2 had came out. It, this must have been like in the mid-80s when I saw I saw Terminator 1 actually on a local television station in Cleveland called um, Big Chuck and Little John. They used to air movies on Saturday night. And they, and they played um, the Terminator. That was where I saw it. And uh, anyway, uh, my uh, actually, I saw Terminator 2 at the drive-in in Cleveland when I came out. This driving is torn down now. And then I conned my father into taking me to see Terminator 2 again. I did let him know that I had seen it the per the previous time. But uh, Terminator 2 was the first Schwarzenegger movie I, I had saw in a theater. And uh, it was great. It was fantastic. And I will say about this re-release, um, when I saw the previews for it, I was just kind of like, why are you... Re I, I don't have anything against seeing older movies being re-released again. I mean, you guys saw I did The Godfather, you know, and I had seen Poltergeist when they did a, a little brief re-release of it uh, here in Cleveland. But I will say, um, the movie still plays. I mean, because I, I haven't seen it in the theater since the summer of 1991. And I was actually surprised because when the movie started, you know what I mean? In my mind, I've seen this movie, like, I don't know how many times in the last 25, 26 years since it's been out. And I own it on um, DVD. VHS tape too, and I, I've seen it uh, thousands of times now. And you know, when the movie kind of started, when you see older films like this blown up on a big screen, you can kind of start to see the dated aspects like clothes and hairstyles and certain special effects and all that. And when the movie first started, I was kind of like, oh my God. Like, you know, when, it, when the credits first roll and you see that row of cars, I was like, my God, look at all those old cars, you know? But, um,. Once the movie started get it going in the 3D, I was fully in the movie. It was it was actually so crazy that I didn't I did not leave to take a bathroom break. And I've seen this movie hundreds of times. I didn't I didn't leave to go take a bathroom break. I mean, that was how much it was playing that I I literally stayed and watched it from the beginning to the end. I could have walked out and actually went to the bathroom because I've seen the thing I don't know how many times so I wouldn't have been missing anything but it, it literally plays exactly like it did back then and, and I was totally uh, in the movie so I, it, it, it's still fantastic I mean you know kind of it was really weird because the quality of the film, when you go and see these re-releases, like for example when I saw Poltergeist re-released or The Godfather, you can tell that, uh, and I remember one time uh back when I lived uh, in another part, when I lived in Dayton, Ohio, and I worked in a movie theater, we, we uh, showed uh, Nightmare on Elm Street around, Nightmare on Elm Street 1984, way before the stupid remake. And uh, you can tell that those are just DVDs blown up on the big screen and the quality is not there. But here with Terminator 2, I mean, it looks authentic. It looks uh, exactly, if not better, than it did back in 1991. Like, I literally felt like it was 1991 and I was re-watching it again for the first time. That's how much it played. Um, it's still fun. All the action sequences still play. The, the magnificent score. Um, all the acting. Uh, there was actually little nuances in the acting that I had never caught before because I'm desensitized to the film because I've seen it so many times. But Linda Hamilton, although she's always been extraordinary, she, it, just to see her performance again on the big screen, she's just extraordinary here. Robert Patrick, very extraordinary with the way he plays that role. Extremely menacing. And it's just, I know I'm making points that everybody has already made, but it's just to see it on a large screen again after 26 years. You just see how it's a fantastic movie. 
it just just the combination of the the special the state of the art for the time that still play. There's little touch-ups they did here and there. Um, you know, there's certain little things. That, like, if you watch the VHS copy of the movie, you can see certain things with the stuntmen in there and certain blips in there. But it looks like James Cameron corrected that. I don't care about those things because I like the movie as authentic as possible. So, you know, that's fine with me. But it was such a relief to actually watch an action film with real stunts like when that helicopter goes under that bridge god bless that stunt man because i don't know if you could have paid me to do it you know and, and you see the things with uh linda hamilton shooting out the back of the police truck and the helicopter even though we know the hell it's not a, it's a helicopter like on a rig you know just kind of swinging back and forth but it just still feels so much real than the transformer stuff you know and again epic movies where you can have 20 you can have all these action sequences but you also tell the story and you give a break uh you know everybody uh you know people kind of do complain about that that little middle section where they go to mexico and the film slows down but you know what the movie needed that it doesn't have to be because terminator 2 has such large action sequences it needed to slow down catch your breath bam then you go back in that's the way these films sh should be. They should be played like that, you know? I, I think a lot of these uh, action films should take a playbook from these old school. But it was a re relief to just see old school action that still plays, you know? But uh, fun movie, still. The 3D, um, the 3D was kind of really good in some parts. It wasn't bad, but it kind of really more just kind of gave depth to certain scenes. But it was much cooler to see the T-1000 like stabbing people and gouging people and shooting that, that gun that goes choo 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 in 3D effects. So, you know, really, it, look, I'm a sucker. They got me. I spent my money. But it was fun to see it again. The 3D doesn't really help or or uh, make the movie any worse. It just it just kind of gives us a little uh, little extra that really is not needed because the movie is fine the way it is, but it's still fantastic. And to see Arnold again, young on the big screen, it just made me remember why I used to just adore that man when I was a child. It just Arnold was bad ass again with the coat and the motorcycle and the switching the gun. Um, if there's only two things I don't like about Terminator 2, which there's very few. There's only two scenes in it that, that I find particularly ugly and I don't like them. I don't like the scene where the orderly licks Linda Hamilton on the face. I've always hated that scene and I still to this day still hate it. I just think it was nasty and it was unnecessary. I don't like it. And then the scene where Linda Hamilton goes in to kill uh, Dyson. Uh, I, I don't like when she points the gun at the kid. You know, the wife and the kid. Very uncomfortable moment. But it accentuated the point that Sarah Connor has pretty much lost her mind. But you realize that once she sees that she's terrorizing this family, she comes back and realizes this this is just wrong. Regardless of this there's another way this ain't right, you know. But the the point in the gun at the kid and the wife is always always been a little bit of an uncomfortable moment for me in Terminator 2, you know. But again, everybody's on their A game. This movie's fantastic, still is fantastic. It's one of my top fave Arnold movies from when Arnold was in his prime. Um, um, it's really to go see this re-release is only for people like me who saw it back then. Um, maybe new kids who've never seen it and want to see good old school action, you know. And um, you know, those are really the two people who should really go see it. Casual movie viewers, they who saw it back then. I mean, you might as well just stay at home. You know, but uh, that's my review of Terminator 2 3D re-release. RMD Movie Reviews, I'll see you soon.